Hi, Virgos. This is for Virgos who are dealing with the uh, Pisces for the month of June 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Tarotbarbie.com. My second channel is the official Tarot Barbie for anyone who's interested. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the hangman, the four of wands, and the devil in reverse. Some of you guys are like... <laughs> So spirits like it's like they're trying to say like what are you fighting for, what are you like what are you guys fighting for, you guys are living with this person what are you guys fighting for. You guys are fighting to do what exactly to get out of this relationship to free yourself from it. You guys may have been with this person for like the last nine years, two months, two years. Some of you guys got children with this person, and if not, it's like you guys got children from other people. But it's like you're trying to free yourself from this from this toxic situation that you guys might feel like it's toxic. But I think it's not even all that bad. At least in this energy here, at least the beginning is not so bad. But it's like coming into the future. You're going to have to look back <laughs> with the two of wands, nine of wands, and the devil in reverse. And ask yourself, like, how did I get to where I'm at today? Some of you guys are really in a toxic relationship. Also Virgos. <coughs> You guys feel like your Pisces is like a bump on a log. <clears throat> you guys feel like your Pisces is like a bump on a log. They don't get up. They don't do nothing to help you guys out. With the hangman to the king of cups. <clears throat> maybe this person sleeps a lot, you know. They're always like, maybe this person drinks a lot or they also sleep a lot. Way more than you guys would have ever expected them for to be doing. With the four of swords, it looks like this person may be needing therapy or they need to meditate. Or just simple therapy. Or you guys are looking to have therapy done. If it's not therapy for you guys. <laughs> it's therapy for your kid. <clears throat> because it's the page of wands in reverse. Someone's kid is really like aggressive and mean. And they're just acting up. Maybe this is like a teenager. With the page of wands in reverse. Like like you energy. And you guys like want to do some sort of therapy for this kid. So that way they can heal themselves. Right? But it looks like you guys will help them out with the healing. You're trying to figure out, like, what's so toxic. But it seems like you guys will be able to figure out with the two of wands what's really going on. Some of you guys just had a baby or you're pregnant on, you're, or you're pregnant with a baby on the way. Um, this person here, it's like they make a lot of money. The King of Pentacles, Virgos. They make a lot of money and you guys are supporting the empress. So it's like maybe you guys are with somebody who's like a housewife from, from what I'm seeing. And some of you guys are like fighting with this person a bit. But you see, it seems like with the fighting, it's kind of like petty arguments here and there. It's like you ask them to do something, but then they don't do it. It's just mean energy. Like if someone is sitting here and they're pregnant and they're older and they've always been a housewife, just leave them to be a housewife. Like how are you going to get them to get out of the throne? They've always been an empress their whole life. Even in the past life, they were also an empress. They didn't have to do nothing. So that's them being a housewife. That's still running the castle. That's still running the kingdom. That's still running the home. That's still them running the empire. <coughs> you kings got to get this shit straight. You guys got to understand what these, what these energies are. Five of cups to the page of cups in reverse. You guys make this person sad. Maybe the Pisces gets sad or you guys, Virgos, get sad whenever you guys fight with this person or you talk down to them. They need to be treated better than that. If a, if a woman is a housewife or vice versa, that they're still holding down the castle. They're still holding down the kingdom. I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. Like, you're the king of pentacles. You should be fine. You're financially stable. What are you complaining about? Anyway, whatever. I'm old school. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, all right? <clears throat> yeah, Virgos. <clears throat> a lot of you guys are, are ready to move on with your life and call it a day. Some of you guys also want to travel with the Eight of Cups, the World card, too. It looks like your Pisces wants to come in and make an offer to you guys. Somebody here who lives at a distance from you guys wants to come towards you and give you guys a date. They want a date. They want to go out on a date with you. With the page of swords, the ace of pentacles, somebody here might be watching your money. They're like saying like accounts receivable, accounts of receivable are watching your money. You know, right? So make sure that if you guys have to do taxes or something, make sure your taxes are good. 
Justice card to the Strength card, everything will be okay. With the Page of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles, there's going to be an opportunity between you and your you, you and your Pisces to get your shit together. You might have a little bit of questions before you end up taking on this situation, but I think in the end you'll be able to figure it out. Also, Virgos, if you guys are choosing to put your kids or whoever this Page of Wands in reverses into therapy, it's saying that you're going to have to ask them about the finances and how the money is because with the Justice in reverse, if you don't have the money, then don't be spending your money on things like this. When you can simply take your kid out for a walk or just simply spend time with your kid. <coughs> uh, let's find out what's happening here. I'm getting a lot of annoyed energy in this reading. I can't even explain to you how annoying the energy is. Like really, really annoying energy, honestly. You guys got the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. And also the judgment card. So judgment's gonna be called in on the on the moon. So the, the maybe you guys know that your Pisces was doing some real deceptive shit behind your back, and the truth is gonna be coming out. Maybe this person's doing something with work behind you guys' back too. Right? Cherry in reverse. You guys may have defeated it. I do believe that you guys have a Pisces in your energy who is rushing to their wand to do magic on you guys, to mess with your will of fortune, to mess with your destiny, to mess with your success, your prosperity, your abundance. They're saying that you're going to defeat this person no matter what. No matter what, you're going to defeat them. This Pisces ain't shit, and that's really what it comes down to. Because if you was something special, and if you was worth anything, then you wouldn't have to sit here and attack and hurt somebody, somebody's money in the end. That means you ain't shit. Because people who are successful aren't worried about other people. They mind their own business. But I can see that you ain't got nothing yourself. And that's why you're such a hater. Hater aid. Loser. Loser head. Alright? You guys are the high priestess. Spirit is saying that you guys are going to find out who this Pisces is. And when the, and the day that you guys find out who this Pisces is, you're going to come in and you're going to rumble their freaking world. Yeah, you're going to destroy them. I'm telling you, Virgos. There's a Pisces in your energy. You guys are going to find out who this Pisces is. You're going to find out who they are. All right? They might be somebody who acts like very cold, stoic, and like very... It might be an older man. <laughs> like an older dude. Like white, Hispanic... But you're going to find out who it is. And when you find out who it is, they're going to get destroyed. And they're not going to be able to keep up with their tower. So they're going to leave you alone. Don't ever mess with a high priestess. High priestesses and a high priest, they will find you. They will hunt you down. And when they get, the, and they, when they get a chance to deal with you, they will deal with you. Because you never want to mess with somebody who's very well aware of the balance of yin and yang. Anyway, Spirit said, your days are coming, all right? Nine of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Swords, they're sitting there attacking your Nine of Cups. They don't want you to have nothing, but they're saying you're still going to get it no matter what. <laughs> you're still going to get it no matter what, and you're still going to heal, and you got the rite of passageway because you guys are not even regular people. You guys are, your souls come from a different cloth. So you guys are always going to have the right away. People like this of the king energy. These are like, uh, the way that I look at these kings is like past life energy. You know? Babylonia had their own friggin' kingdom. Uh, Greece had their own kingdom. I don't know. Macedonia had their own kingdom. I look at these kings who come in and attack. These kings and these queens, the way that I look at them is like, you guys are these priests and, and you guys come from esoteric and you guys were initiated into divination and you guys carry a lot of wisdom within you guys. And all these other territories who came to try and like take you out and take you down, I feel like they're all here in this life now. Like everybody that was in those lives back then, everyone's reincarnated now. And realistically speaking, it does make sense. Because everybody's in battle with somebody. It's like the war. It's like when Macedonia came and tried to take out Babylonia. <coughs> and then the UK came and tried to take out Babylonia too. And everybody wanted to take out Babylonia. Everybody wanted to. Until they took it eventually. 
I see a lot of past life energies into these reads. At least lately I've been seeing it. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, in the end, just remember Virgos. Whoever this King of Swords is, you being the freaking priestess that you guys are, don't let nothing and nobody take nothing away from you. If you guys were still living in a kingdom in your past life and you were a friggin' princess or a queen and you were and you had a castle and somebody came on your territory, how would you handle them? How would you deal with them? You're bringing in the tower. They're not going to be able to... They, there's no such thing as stealing land. Not now, anyway. But they want to take away your energy and they want to take something very precious from you. That belongs to you. you got to handle your business. You're going to find this person. When you find this person, you're going to deal with them. And it's going to be very scary. Because then nobody's going to want to mess around with a high priestess or a high priest. Because they know that whatever it is that they end up doing in the end, it's absolutely just. It's just for what they just did to you. It's like one for one. Blood for blood. It's literally like that. Yeah. Absolutely. What are you guys doing out here? Eight of cups. Alright Virgos, you guys are walking away from this situation and you're going to just call it a day. A lot of you guys want to just close out the cycle, but your, but your price is going to come back for you. They're not going to let you go that easily. They love you very much with the sun energy. And I'm telling you, a lot of past life energy is crazy. <coughs> but anyway, even if this person has to go away or leave or whatever, maybe this person's like a truck driver uber whatever the case is it's like they're always missing you they're always missing the kids they always want to be with you sun cards ace of cups they love you very much some of you guys might be invited to go hang out with some people with the three of cups you will go but i think it will be a very short stay with the death card in and out <laughs> 40 minutes and you're done you're back on the road again all right yeah i think that's the truth where it goes uh you guys look like you're ready to speak the truth and tell your pisces how you really feel and this person is going to let you know what's really going on. Ace of Swords. Excuse me. Ace of Swords. Eight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Ace of Wands as well. You're going to get the truth, the clarity. You're not going to be hesitant to communicate anymore. You're going to just say and speak what you want to say. And the Spirit is going to give you the energy for you to do that. Right? Your enemies are going to be really messed up. Yeah, especially that stupid king over there. I feel like the King of Swords is somebody is like is like um, uh, their descent is uh, Greek. Greek energy is what I'm picking up on. <coughs> All right. Two of Swords, Nine of Swords, King of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. All right. So if you guys may feel like you don't want to be dealing with your Pisces anymore, you just feel like the energy is just very heavy for you guys. Maybe this person is like kind of controlling and too powerful and you don't really want somebody who's so domineering. But I think in the end, you guys just feel like it's too heavy for you with the, eight, with the 10 of wand energy. Obviously, you love your Pisces very much and they're going to take some time to think about it. But whatever it is that you chose to do, it looks like somebody here decided to betray you and hurt you really badly with the 10 of swords, 7 of pentacles. Somebody here may have also seen text messages maybe from somebody else and that's going to hurt you and, and affect you really badly. You're going to feel like it's like the ultimate betrayal. You thought that this was a relationship that's going to end up forever with the 6 of wands, but all you're doing is going towards heartbreak. You didn't expect that to happen, right? And this person's going to act like they didn't do nothing to you. Also, Virgos, switching up the energy on the Pisces who's attacking you guys. It's saying that this person's coming towards you. You're not the emperor for no reason, Virgos. You guys are the emperor because of the Ten of Swords. The reason why you're so powerful and you're stoic and because you have your emotions in control is because you definitely know what pain is. You know the little tiny people who come and they're like, oh, I'm bleeding and nah, my finger, I need a band-aid. They haven't experienced life yet. They don't know what life is. This is somebody who knows what life is with 10 swords in their back and they still know that they have need to take control. They, they, they still know that they need to take leadership with 10 swords in their back. And you guys got little tiny little things out here that are crying. Oh, you don't know the pain I've been through. Ain't nobody give a shit at this point. <laughs> Everybody's got 10 swords in their back. Nobody wants, nobody's, I'm telling you Virgos, we all do. Every one of us got 10 swords in our back, but we still got it. We got to know. 
We got, we're entrepreneurs, we're businesswomen, businessmen. We got to travel. We got to make decisions for ourselves. We got to stay focused and keep going. No matter how much pain we're carrying on our backs, we still got to keep going. No matter how much magic is thrown at you, you got to still keep going. There is no stopping. Take a break, whatever, but you make sure that you get your asses back up again and you keep going. You keep going. Because they're saying like the enemy wants to see you guys fall. Ain't nobody falling out here. How is somebody going to fall with 10 swords in the back and on top of that they're protected too? That's why they keep bouncing back out of everything that was meant to destroy them because they're going to they're 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 by they're anointed by God. God got this person. What do you mean? All these people are like mad. <laughs> Losers. Five of swords like your enemies, Virgos, it looks like the Pisces might be honestly the enemy. Uh, they're going to have to sit down and really fall back and think about what they have just done to you. They're coming up against somebody that they cannot even keep up with. So what are they doing exactly? You're the queen of cups and you're, and you're doing magic on an emperor. So I can see you guys, Virgos, being the emperor, male or female, and queen of cups, male or female. It's like you're going up against the wrong one. Go bully somebody your own size. Right? Because the moment that you decide to bully somebody bigger than you, that means you just decided to bump into a bigger and badder wolf than you. So when it's their turn, they're coming for you. And that's maybe what, exactly what somebody here needs. They need to be humbled. You, somebody needs to be humbled. you sitting there freaking just attacking random people for the hell of it. You walked into the wrong, you walked, on, you walked into the wrong lane. I'm tell, I'm me, Barbie, I'm telling you, you walked into the wrong lane. You're wrong. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I can't even believe it. I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not even going to tell you nothing. Uh -uh. No. I'm not going to feed the enemy. I'm not going to feed the enemy for you guys. Just know that you guys are good. Blessed Virgos. All right? The enemy with the five of swords, three of swords, you're going to sit down and be heartbroken. They think they got what they wanted from attacking you or hurting or affecting your heart space and saying, no, no, no. Just simply the two of pentacles. I'm not going to read the two of pentacles. I don't feel like I want to. I don't need to. Just, it is what it is. Two of pentacles. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to talk about it. Queen of wands. Right? So maybe this person had to ask people for help to help them out. Pay them. So you guys got here, you guys got like Pisces and having Pisces recruit and, and, and pay people to sit down and hurt you and harm you and, and you're all by yourself and you don't got nobody, you're not paying nobody to take care of you, you're not paying nobody to do your to do your work for you, you're not paying nobody to do nothing for you, but they're all sitting down paying people to do one on you. <laughs> At least their money is being spent on you, Virgos. Yeah, at least their money's being spent on you. Instead of them going spending their money on a vacation or spending their money on something useful or investing into something, they spend their money on you. That money, energetically, is being spent on you. So it means like that person spent money to do harm onto you. So it's going to flip it and that money's going to come back for you times 10 because they were ungrateful with the money that they were using. So... Energy, money is energy. What do you mean? Page of Pentacles, right? They were just sitting there paying people. They're paying up. They're pra they're paying practitioners. They're paying other witches. They're you know all of these witches got different powers. One got a sword. The other one carries a wand. <coughs> they all carry different energies. But I think in the end, uh, it looks like they're gonna pay somebody else. And the moment that they pay them. And they, the moment that they pay this, this person, this practitioner, to do magic on you, to cause you guys stress, fear, paranoia, anxiety, PTSD, the moment that they pay this practitioner to do one on you, that's when they all automatically become blocked. Because this specific practitioner should have known better to not mess with their own kind. You come from the same DNA. How are you going to sit there and hurt your own kind? And that's exactly why you're going to get blocked. You're wrong. You did wrong. You did wrong. You're going up against somebody who's way more powerful. Even this, even with the magician card, this practitioner, alongside the witches, are still more powerful 
then the practitioner and to and two witches put to combine together. I'm telling you, they walked into the wrong lane. Sometimes people gotta just stay in their own lane. Uh, seven of Wands, you're defending yourself, taking care of yourself. These people are losers. Yeah, two of cups are losers. Look at they end up nowhere. <laughs> They end up with a fucking STD. Alright? What do you want me to tell you? You end up, They end up with an STD. Keep it up. Keep up the dirty shit you all be doing out here, Pisces and Virgos, smashing each other out. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing out here. But it looks like you will end up with an STD if you keep up doing uh, spells like this on people. <coughs> <laughs> you guys are going to defend defend yourself. What they're doing is they're doing magic to mess with your love life as well. To like block your love life. So what's going to happen is once it gets like blocked from able to access your energy. It's going to turn back, hit them. And that energy is going to be all negative energy because they wished ill on you. So what's going to happen is they're going to go and they're going to go get themselves an STD for what they've done to you. And they're going to sit down and cry. Why did this happen to me? Well, listen, you stupid bitch. The reason why it happened to you is because you're sitting there minding everyone's business when you should only be minding your own. Nobody likes stupid bitches. And that's as nice as I'm, I'm about to say it. And I'm not worried about any of this shit. I'm me. I'm, I'm not worried about any of this shit. The reason why I'm not worried about it is because I'm sitting here calling up the coward. You're a coward. You know what you're doing and you're a coward for doing it. And I don't care who I'm talking to at this point. This is a Virgo and Pisces reading. You could be all the way in the back, back, back. You can just be a cross watcher. You could just just clicked on and said, I want to see this one today. I don't care. I'm calling up the coward. And that's what I'm going to continuously do. You're sitting here doing stupid shit for no reason and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, keep up the dirty shit that you're doing. And watch how vengeance is going to find you. You guys are sitting here recruiting and paying people to hurt this Virgo or Pisces or whatever. I can care less at this point. Collective. The person you're attacking is more powerful than the two witches that you guys got plus the practitioner. Boo! You lose. And something about an STD. Um, also Virgos, no, that's good. I'm gonna leave it there. Have the day that you deserve. Thanks, cuties. Bye.